Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about Inkscape. If you keep track of the tutorials, news, anything that I do here or everything that I do here in Blender 3D Architect, you probably know that I do prefer to use open source software for design and visualization. And if you have to create documentation about your designs, Inkscape can help you a lot. One of the main reasons for that is because uh, many of the softwares, many of the tools like Blender, uh, uh, it doesn't create or it doesn't have the ability to create a PDF file or a sheet if you have to create uh, documentation of your designs. And Inkscape has one feature, one effect here that can help a lot, which is the ability to create dimension lines. You know that? Do you know that you can create dimension lines with Inkscape. Let me show you how it works and some of the options. To create dimension lines uh, with Inkscape, you do need a path. So I have this drawing here, j here just a few lines, and uh, it must be a path. The reason for this is because uh, to create dimension lines in Inkscape, we have to use a path effect. You have to come here into the path and path effects. It's uh, hidden. I usually uh, say that it's hidden here inside this menu. So I will open and expand these uh, options. And we have a tool here called measure segments. If you have a path selected, whenever you activate this option, look what happens. It adds dimension lines. And you can make lots of changes here. You can change your units from millimeters to centimeters, you can control the scale. For instance, let's say I need to multiply this scale by 10. You can change the line width. Let's try 0 0.01. It got really small. You can also change, for instance, the position. Let me change this to 15. You can also change here the label position. If you come here into the options, you can make changes to the label. For instance, let's say you are trying to simulate here meters, you can change this to M. Or if you are trying to use feet, you can just type feet. You can add anything that you want here into the label format. Oh, I accidentally deleted my shape. So let's get it back. Let's type again. Unit. Add a space. And you can do all sorts of things here. You can control the distance. You can change the precision. Under options, you have the option, you have the ability here to change the precision. So just two decimal cases. Let me change this to centimeters. Change here the line width. It. And one of the things that uh, people usually ask me about managing dimensional lines in Inkscape, it's uh, the scale, but this is uh, something that you have to work based on the type of drawing that you are creating. You, you do have options to control the scale, uh, but uh, I will cover this on another tutorial where uh, I will export a drawing from Blender, for instance, and we will add dimension lines here in Inkscape. In Inkscape. Let me show you how you can create, for instance, additional dimension lines. For instance, each one of the lines, each one of the paths that we have here, uh, it receives a dimension line. But what if I want to add another dimension here on something that do not have a path? For instance, I want to measure the distance between this point here and this point here. 
To do this, we need an invisible line because Inkscape only adds dimension lines to paths. So I need a path to create a dimension line. To help me with that, I will create a guide. Let me place the guide here. I have my snaps enabled here for Inkscape. As you can see, Inkscape has lots of different snaps for paths. It even includes uh, intersections, which Blender do not have. So now that I have a guide, I can create a path here from this point. I will press and hold my control key until it finds the guide. Press enter. I do now have a line here, a path. And with this path selected, I will add another measure. And since I don't need this path, I will just say that it doesn't have any color. So this is how we add dimension lines uh, or uh, separate dimension lines here in Inkscape. If you are not aware of Inkscape uh, being able to create such uh, details for technical drawings or for uh, design documentation, you now know that you can create dimension lines in Inkscape. Of course, it's not the same as a CAD software. You have lots and lots of limitations based on if you make a direct comparison with a CAD software, but it's better than nothing and it can help in many different projects. Well, that's it. I hope you liked the content. And if you want to keep up with more uh, tutorials, uh, news regarding open source tools for architecture, design, engineering, uh, please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. I see you next time. Bye.